I know I'm kind of in a weird position. I'm crouching down in front of my desk. <laughs> Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to show you guys how I shoot product. Sometimes I shoot it for my blog, sometimes I shoot it for Instagram or just for like a thumbnail or something. So I kind of want to show you guys how I do it so that you're producing like the best quality picture or the best type of picture. So the product that I'm going to be shooting today is this Fat Boy Pomade. It's a matte pomade. Um, I have it in my hair right now. Um, it's really great. It's matte so it doesn't look like you have product in your hair which is what I like. It doesn't add more shine to it. It adds like a subtle shine but it's matte enough to give you that dry matte look. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how to shoot this. So why don't we go ahead and get started. So my very first tip is to make sure that you always put your product in a really nice environment. Um, I'm putting mine on the comforter. It's gonna add really nice texture to the photo. Um, I'm also gonna be shooting it from below so that I don't get any of the background in the photo. Um, it also creates a nice depth of field. So next I'm gonna show you how to do a flat lay. I'm doing it with the same camera um, onto my comforter and it just really gives it a nice clean look without any background. Uh, so I would suggest this if you really want your product to stand out. Up next is a cell phone. I'm doing uh, flash photography with this one. Um, you can see how it really gives you good contrast in the photo. You can also do it without um, uh, any flash um, and it looks just as good. Um, I'm also going to show you how to uh, photograph uh, with a background. As you can see with a background it kind of doesn't look that great so this is kind of a bad example to show you the difference of how it looks when you have a background and without. Overall it just makes your photo look much cleaner. Uh, here's another example with shadows. I'm using the shadow coming from the window. You can really play Play up your photos with these textures and different shadows and stuff that you put into it. Um, it just makes your photos more interesting, makes people want to click them and view them and see your product and find out more about you. So uh, yeah, so there's a few tips that you guys can start implementing. Hope you guys found it helpful and thanks for watching. Definitely let me know what you think in the comments down below and I will see you guys in the next video.